The Hail Mary prayer was answered. The two-point conversion one was not. Ohio University football lost in Huntington on Saturday night. 24 to 23 to Marshall's Thundering Herd. Hi everybody, I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Rob Cornelius, our network analyst, is alongside. Rob, Ohio was down 13-3 at halftime. Fought back in the second half through some trickery, through some prayer. They had the chance to win the ball game at the end of the game. Call it guts, call it being at the right place at the right time, call it whatever you'd like. Ohio had a shot to win it there, and it just didn't go their way. No, Ohio's offense showed very well second half. Boo Jackson took over for the bulk of the second half. Terrence McRae was big, had a couple big passes, including the one to set up the two-point conversion that would decide this game. Yeah, in the end, Marshall's offense was too good, and Brian Anderson really, really had a good ball game. After throwing four interceptions at Bowling Green last week, he settled down through three touchdowns. Uh, he was very good. Ohio's defense, though, give them credit. They made some plays to allow Ohio to be in the ball game at the end. Yeah, the D got stops on second and third downs, forced Marshall with some three and outs, even when given bad, bad situations. Anderson did pitch a pretty good game for Marshall. Didn't force a lot of turnovers on either side. Just one in this game, that one by Ohio. And Tavius Wilson had two touchdown catches for the herd. This is a good football team, better than their one and three record. Now, they did have a chance to salt it away, and Ohio did make some plays at the end there to get themselves in position trying to win the ball game. Let's go piece by piece sure, here. Sure. The Paul Hershey fake field goal, juke, ball fake, run, far pylon, get into the end zone. That was a wild, wild play, and Ohio got points out. That guy makes more highlight reels about any punter in America. A couple times last year, he turned punts into keeps or first downs or even bigger. And today, you know, he gets the ball. He's out there by himself, fakes a throw over a DB who's out there with him, doesn't realize there's no no receiver, no running back behind him. Just makes a run right for the pylon. Yeah, and Ohio at the end of the ball game had the Hail Mary pass. Boo Jackson to Terrence McRae. In that type of situation, all you could do is heave and hope, and Ohio came down with a rock with T-Mac in the end zone. And I was shocked. If this being a college game where an interference calls 15 yards, mm -hmm. Marshall doesn't hold T-Mac, <laughs> knock him down with the five, anything. I think he was as shocked as anybody he was able to make that catch. And then the biggest word and the most impactful word that you said last year on our broadcasts was guts. They went for two this go-around, and it just didn't happen. There was some pushing and shoving at the back of the end zone, and... You better be real sure if you're an official, either way, if you're going to throw a flag. And you're on the road. You have the momentum. There are going to be folks who don't like that call, but this team was playing its best football of the game mm -hmm. in the final five minutes, no question at all. That was the way to go. Yeah, Noah Keller did not play. LeVon Brazil did not play. So Ohio's best defensive player didn't play. Ohio's best offensive player didn't play. Ohio lost by one on the road in front of 28,000 in Huntington. So now you get ready for MAC play. Eastern Michigan's lost a lot in a row. They've lost 16 in a row. They're going to be tired of losing to somebody. They're going to beat somebody, and you just hope it's not Ohio. No, they're going to be at home in front of not a lot of folks. Be look at games they've played against similar competition. Mm -hmm. Gave Miami all they could handle. Took Army to the wire, scored, I believe, 27 to 30 points in that one. Eastern is not as bad as the 0-12 club they were last year. This is not an easy out at all. So Ohio had a crack at the end, and give them credit for going for it. They just didn't make the play at the end for whatever reason, pushing, shoving, uh, Aaron pass, whatever else. Ohio loses the ball game 24-23 in Huntington. On Ypsilanti now, it's homecoming in Ypsilanti, and we'll be there on the radio network on Saturday. Now we'll put the wraps on it. 24-23 the final. Ohio loses to Marshall. For the entire Bobcat TV crew, Rob Cornelius, I'm Russ Eisenstein.